getting in the work now. With the arm sixty Let me worship, declare this year. Can the enemy know the blessing that is about to deliver tonight? So we, we, we must expect that we're going to go to warfare. Because the word, the undiluted word, is going to deliver. Prophecy is going to deliver. The promise of the Lord is going to be delivered. So the enemy will come. Mighty God, mighty, mighty is the Lord, great is the Lord, and ruler to be praised. From the writing of the sun to the coin of the same, it name is to be praised. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let it be done tonight. Let somebody be healed tonight. Let somebody be delivered tonight. Let somebody be blessed tonight. Raboko shatada babako si lebeleke si alabai. Hallelujah. Yet somebody pray. Somebody pray. Shako sha shakaya mama. Raboko si akasatai. I see somebody claims in healing. Claude, my boy, I come in to agree with you for your healing in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, mighty God, I told I shout all night tonight. I shout all night if I don't be careful. We've been shouting on the hill of sign. Amen. I say, Amen. Oh, oh dear. Um, you know, and before I, I really, really get in into some deep word, we I appreciate those who are patiently waiting. Amen. So who are staying online, enjoying the worship, the revival way of worshiping the true and living God. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the Father glorify in His Son, and if you accept His Son, you accept His Father. But he is the door to the Father. Hallelujah to God, and He have sent His Son. That if we believe it in His in His Son, dying on the cross for our sins, paid the way for salvation. If if we receive Him, Hallelujah, we receive the Father also. And so it, it we stand on the word of God. We will not fear what man just sent to us. Um, and in walking on the team, if I prophesy to you, will you believe? That what I'm I know. That is my main thing. But my co my my sub team, I mean forgot the co team. <laughs> oh my god. 
Um, my sub team tonight is do at cut say do at cut say. Then if you believe, you gonna do what the prophecy say. We gonna do it because we believe in it. Because obedience will lead you. Um, faith will lead you into obedience, and obedience obedient will lead you into your deliverance into your prosperity into your miracle into your healing into your provision amen that what happened if you believe all things not some but all things are possible if you believe to god be the glory great things yet done and tonight word will be taken from john chapter 2 we're going to read first nine two first two rather and to first nine verse eleven um first eleven rather for first two to first eleven and then we going to go to second king chapter five first nine to first forty second king chapter five first nine to first forty if you are hearing me well just say yes I am hearing you well and and I'm going to move on to the word. All right. So to get your faith up, um, those who is on Facebook, to get your faith up, I'm going to, I'm asking you, if you have a testimony, do not be afraid to send your testimony. Send, if God has said something to you, I'm not asking anyone to, to say anything that, that it not true. Uh, you know, you know, God so hard. So, you know, I'm, I'm asking you to, to plan a testimony. No, I'm not asking nobody to plan no testimony. Okay, I'm asking you to testify, speak. If you have received a breakthrough, uh, a word of deliverance from this ministry, would like you to testify. Tell somebody, oh, you're filled. Tell somebody, oh, you're blessed, and what happened to you. Now we're going to. Yeah, this testimony is from Sister Davia, I think. Yeah, Davia, Sister Davia. Okay, Sister Davia, just enjoy it, and I hope this will lift your faith up. Good afternoon, Apostle. Um, this is my breakthrough from Tuesday night. Tuesday nights, I have two breakthrough testimonies. One is from Tuesday night, and one is from Wednesday to Thursday. So Tuesday night I came to church and I was having this back pain from when. And when I was at church and you were preaching and you went around touching individuals and you touched me on my right hand. And as soon as you touched me on my right hand, it was like something just left, you know, left my body and then there was no more pain. Good afternoon, Apostle. Good afternoon, Apostle. I'm, I'm apologize um, about that. This is my breakthrough from Tuesday night. Tuesday nights, I have two breakthrough testimonies. One is from Tuesday night and one is from Wednesday to Thursday. So Tuesday night, I came to church and I was having this back pain from when. And when I was at church and you were preaching and you went around touching individuals and you touched me on my right hand. And as soon as you touched me on my right hand, it was like something just left, you know, left my body and then there was no more pain. No more pain, the pain does disappear immediately. And Wednesday, I decided that I was going to buy some fruits, which I did. And I went out and I got some fruits and I took it to you. Now, I wasn't expecting anybody to send me any money and I wasn't expecting any money from anyone at all. And Thursday, I was home and I got a message from someone that they're going to send a certain amount of money. And I said, okay, thank you. Then the person went and sent another message. I'm at the bank now, and I'm going to send you more than what I told you that I'm going to send the first time. And when the person sent the money, I received over $40,000 in my account. And I never asked him. I never asked no one. You know, the person just sent the, the money. And I got that breakthrough because I followed my spirit. And I, I bought the stuff, you know, with, with a clean heart. I didn't puff up. I, I didn't think that where I'm going to get the money from. I just went out and I had um, 
the cash and I did it and I got more than 10 times the amount that I spent from buying you the fruits. Hallelujah. To God be the glory, great things you have done. And I pray that as you continue to believe in God, that one thing with faith, the more you believe, it's the more God work in your behalf. Believe the Lord your God. Amen. And you, he shall establish you, he shall make you known, he shall lift you up. Believe the prophet and you shall make money. You shall prosper, you shall increase. This is the word of the Lord. And if you believe, you shall receive what you believe. Amen. Amen. I, I think I would play in the testimony concerning um, um, a sister from Canada that I prophesied to uh, um, I prophesied to her concerning the Lord going to bless her with a house and she now got that was about two weeks ago and she now got the house that the Lord bless her with. She don't have to pay for the workman that build, the, build it, that build in the house. The house nearly finished and she don't have to pay the money that the workman um, charge her to pay so that is another breakthrough i think it was it but i, I honestly i don't know where to find that vice you know no but anyway the testimony were important also because this testimony is the laying of hands and it's also when the bible says if you bless the prophet you get a profit reward that's how it goes you bless the prophet you get a profit reward you curse the prophet the lord will curse you the bible say amen touch not the lord and i did not do it prophet no um Bless the name of Jesus. So we come to um, get in the word. Amen. Uh, we did get a, a testimony from Miriam. Um, I don't know if Jeff sent a vice note. Um, Miriam, if you have sent a vice note, let me know if you have sent a vice note. Uh, Miriam, let me take a few check. Uh, If I could check to see if Miriam did a fight now, but she will prophesy to concerning our daughter. I prophesied to her daughter, to her, concerning our daughter, going to get married and all that. And you now they're about to be engaged. So we see the power of God. We see that coming here, it will give you breakthrough, it gives you deliverance. Hallelujah. But I want, when you're here, I want you also to give. God the glory to give God the glory and give God the praise don't just come up like that uh, and not giving God the glory amen I'm looking for the five notes of Miriam okay um, bam, bam, bam. Amen. I, I believe I believe in the power of God I believe God work in a mysterious way it wasn't just to perform Amen. I'm just going to get in the word. I hope that the, the testimony will build your faith up to receive more of God and more things from God. Okay, Mary Wells. Okay, you say you will. Oh, you have not sent it yet. You will send it when you are when you are finished. Amen. Praise God. Well, okay, Sister Miriam, looking forward for it. Amen. I I strongly believe that you must testify. If God has been so good to you, why not testify? Testify. And let me tell you something, whosoever that tes testify, they will receive another testimony. Because you are grateful over your testimony, God make a ruler over your testimony. Or there is somebody want to give you a testimony. Okay. Um, the number that we you're supposed to call and give you a testimony is we are now using the phone to call live. So what you can do is you can send a voice note to to so one eight seven six vice note you cannot be called now. You can send a fight note to one eight seven six um four three seven seven nine three three one eight. But you can't you, you cannot call now, you can only send a vice note because we're using the phone in the video. Okay. If so uh, if you want um to to be on the live, what you can do, to give a testimony, you can send a request and then we add you for you to give your testimony. It's okay, we're going to work with this. We don't want it to stop. All right. According to John chapter 2, John, John chapter 2, verse 2 to 11. Amen. May the Lord have his blessing upon his word. And both Jesus were called 
and it's a disciple to uh, a marriage in Canaan, okay? This is when the Lord have been invited to a marriage in Canaan and there's something up in there. And when they want wine, the wine was finished and they locking up wine. And the mother of Jesus said unto him, they have no wine. Why did the mother of Jesus say to Jesus, they have no wine? It wasn't Jesus' responsibility to get wine. But I believe because of the experience that the mother have from before she was conceived, an angel of the Lord came to him and prophesied to him that he shall be a son and his name shall be called Jesus because he is Emmanuel, God with us. The everlasting father and the prince of peace. And so on that our mother, his mother rather, were, were hungry and thirsting to see the manifestation of God, to see the glory of God through his son. He want, she wanted to see something happen to confirm what the angels said. Miracles will happen if you truly hungry for it. If you truly hungry for the move of God, God will perform a miracle in your life. Are you hungry enough to see God work? Are you hungry enough to see God come true for you? Are you hungry enough to hear a word from the Lord? Well, Mary was hungry and thirsty to see the fire of the glory of God to be manifested to his son that would prophesy to him. Mary also had an experience when he went to look for Elizabeth. And you know, he met unto Elizabeth and John leave in, uh, in Elizabeth's belly. And all of these things, is oh, there must be something supernatural happening to you, my cousin, because when I met you, I feel John become the rejoice in my belly. Hallelujah. So what are you saying, Rev? When there, when you have when you have this man Jesus, when you met this man Jesus, there should be an urge or zeal to worship. There should be a leaping. There should be a praise and a hallelujah and an amen. Hallelujah to God. So I want everyone right now. Now you're about to receive a word from the throne of God. God about to speak. Hallelujah. Let the anointing of God in you begin to praise. Let the anointing of God within you begin to worship. Let that lift your hands up. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Give God the honor. Because God about to come to you through his word. In the beginning what the word. And the word what with God. And the word was God. And the word became flesh and dwell among us. It's what the word coming. So angel descend and sing glory glory because christ blessed is he who come in the name of the lord glory and worship so if you are in the presence of the lord and if you are you are at a place that you are excited for christ you are excited because guess what you know who christ is you know that god is great and mighty he's almighty rather amen and all these the, the glory of god he, he carried the work of God in him. He carried the work of God in him. Even in the name. Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such have I, I give unto thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am not the rest, rise up and walk. And a miracle happened. This man that was lame was able to walk. Do you want the miracle today? Today is the day of your miracle. Can I prophesy to you? Today is the day of your miracle. If you can get excited enough, if you can be zealous enough, if you can hungry enough, if you need a breakthrough enough, if you need a healing enough, hallelujah, I am not saying that I can do a miracle for you. I am saying that the God that I serve, the God that I pray to, the God that I worship, the God who was and is and is to come, the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the same God, amen, of the apostles and prophets, the same God who Moses of, 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 of see the flame of fire, the same God that turned 
the water in the wine. That's what I'm talking about. He is the same God yesterday and it's the same God today and will be the same God tomorrow. Receive this in the name of Jesus. Amen. And when they, the wine, well, they, when they want wine, hallelujah, because they have no wine. The mother of Jesus seek him who is a provider. Rabo Shanda. Look to the hills from whence coming to hell. Mary look to Jesus from when coming is help. Is help coming from the Lord Jesus with me, heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Can I feed you with wine? Now, of the water of change in the wine, so it is. Rabo Shanda. And I deliver the word of God to you. The word of God will be changed into his blood. The dead water will become alive. The blood is the life of a man. So, the life of God is his word today. And I'm de declaring his word to you. I'm speaking his word to you. And the word is going to become alive in you. If you chink up this water, hallelujah, that will transform into wine. Meaning, you know what happened. Jesus was crucified. His blood was shed. Hallelujah. And we receive it by faith right now. So it is. If you receive the word by faith, you are receiving the life of God, the blood of Jesus. And that's the reason why he said, if you do not eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, hallelujah, you and you cannot be my follower. And so it is. It was his, he wasn't speaking of it not of blood or, or, or wine, but he was thinking of the spiritual word. The spiritual word that will become alive in you. Hallelujah. This word that I'm, I'm prophesying to you, I'm, I'm declaring unto you, it will come alive in your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. It will come alive in your life and it's going to make things happen. Hallelujah. I pray that I can get somebody else who believe like Miriam that a daughter come to get married to this man and now in an appointment date for engagement at upset and the wedding date is in trouble. Come on now, who could it be but Jesus? This is God speaking and I pray that they will receive more people, oh God, who will receive. Amen. Okay, I'm just picking up Sister Nicole again, Ellis. I, I, I'm telling you, receive it right now in the name of Jesus. God is the God who can do miracle. The Lord that this is going to be a miracle. Only way it's a miracle and let it it done that you don't even expect it to happen. It not, wasn't supposed to happen that way, but it happened. It's a miracle because they have no wine. The amount of wine that they have, they now have. It has to be a miracle because there was no way they could have been able to get so much wine in a short period of time. And, and, and we're going to show you what happened later, that even the taste of the wine changed. Everything about it changed. Okay, so we're going to get in the water park. I don't want to go ahead of myself. Okay, just get, get this now. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I have to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. Meaning, whenever... You, Jesus, began to start to do miracles. The persecution did not begin until when the miracles began. I'm here to tell you something. Some of the, the tribulation and the trial, I'm just trying to look a bit closer to me. Oh, oh my Lord. Um, that you are about to go through it because God now doing a miracle in your life without there with no miracle the enemy is afraid of miracle because nobody can move the people without the miracle nobody can ever move the people into the will of god or to get the people attention and let there is something is happening to identify that you are working with God, or God is in charge of what you are doing. And so, when they took the stone up, the stone Jesus, Jesus said, 
with good have I done, God, I have not done you no evil, with miracle that I have performed, with healing that I have performed, that caused you to stone me. You have to be, be doing something that will disturb the enemy camp. That will drive fear into the enemy concerning you. And a lot of people, um, you know, people will just rise up for you and say, yeah, walk over here. Because guess what? They will not accept that God is with you. So they will have to classify you with the devil. So it is they say Jesus was the Belgium and um, the, 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 the high demons is ruling the lower demons. And Jesus said, can a kingdom fight against itself and stand? The reason why you fight against me is because you're of the, your father is the devil. Because if you were of my father in heaven, you would not have been fighting me. Because we are serving the same God. And a kingdom cannot fight against itself and stand. So it is, whenever a pastor or bishop who stand performing miracles, healing and deliverance, who will speak in tongues interpretation and speak the word of wisdom and knowledge, there going to be the enemy rising up against the work of God, against what that man or that woman of God is called to do. So Jesus said, my time is not yet come, hallelujah, to perform miracles and healing. But nevertheless, his mother said, I mean, verse 5, his mother said unto to the servant, whatsoever he said unto you, do it. If you do what God said, he will work the miracle. Hallelujah. So, so it is. We are coming, if I prophesy to you, will you believe? If I prophesy to you and say, fill up the pots of water, will you fill up those pots of water? And you know you throw water in the pot. But I'm telling you, to draw the water, do not give it to anybody, don't taste it. Just bring it to the governor of the feast. Bring this water to the one who of the authority. Who, if you bring it to that man and you bring water, it would be an insult that he have expect you to give him wine and you give him water. But you confidence God so much that you are willing to do what God said because you're sure a miracle is coming. Now, I have to give respect to these men. I must honor Mary for this. To trust his son, this was his first miracle that he had performed. He had not done a miracle before. But leaning on the word of the angel of vision that you got seen an angel. Leaning on the leaving of John. Leaning on him growing up and going to the temple. And um, he was asking question that the doctors, masters and doctors could not answer. And could able to to answer question from them in in the awkward way this lean, leaning on all of these things he trusts that he can turn to a miracle that making provision at a time where it's impossible to make at a time it's impossible for it to happen hallelujah to God no concerning the men they know they show water in the pot they know they show water in the pot and yet they have confidence to bring to the governor for the governor to examine the wine to see if it if it's good or not can somebody have the faith of Mary 
can somebody have the confidence and the assurance that these men have it wasn't his disciples hallelujah these were normal men and this man come who was the son of mary he had done no miracle no breakthrough but yet they believe that today they need going to be um, met that today they they need going to be met i know you're trying to get to me but i'm live on on facebook right they need going to be met oh i give god the glory tonight because i prophesy to you your need you may not lock of wine but you lacking of of a home you lacking of a piece of land to start that home you lacking of a drive right now you you need a car you lacking of the school fee to pay for your children or yourself you you lacking of something and you gonna believe god that he gonna do a miracle in your life you have just heard a testimony a while ago this young lady she wasn't looking for a money she wasn't expecting any money hallelujah she was touched in church that she was sick and she felt the healing power she come to let me know what happened to her that she was healing she could not hold her peace but you come with confidence to say, Rev, you touched me and I was sick and I, I'm, I'm here. But you did not come empty and then you come with some fruits because she was led to buy the fruit. Can I talk to somebody? And as she come and bless the, the, the man of God, whatsoever money she has spent, she get 10 times more than that. Hallelujah. She was blessed with over $50,000. And after my spend a five thousand six thousand dollars to buy the food, I put up more. But this is the power of God. This is a miracle. You never expect it. You never call anybody for anything. But the Lord, in it, great mercy. And I say to all, bring more food. Come, Hallelujah. Bring it from. Hallelujah, and get more blessing. That it is, if I'm doing something, and it's working for me, I'm keeping. I don't care what you want to say. No, I'm going to criticize. I don't care because guess what? You are not blessing me. I, I am sowing my seed and good soil. If I if I see when I sow my seed and it's growing, that means I must make sure I water that plant that it grow more and more. And then I look I see it out to bring forth fruit. Then I'm going to water. I'm going to first the light it. I can deploy it, do everything that I can in my power for it to bring forth more fruit. More fruit, more blessing, more anointing, more higher level in the name of Jesus. I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing and I'm going to continue to trust the Lord because it's a God yesterday, so it is a God today. Hallelujah. Can somebody say amen? this amen now in verse 6 here it is and they set six water pot water pot of stone at a clay pot after the manner of the purifying of the Jews concerning two or three fracking of spices listen what happened is that to choose use of these waters for watching in a farm of a purification and so they use those water for purification those water now will turn into wine which is the wine represent the blood you know when you want around the table it is a, this is a cup of the new testament representing it blood that was shed for you on Calvary. After not the drink, drink you remember that his blood was shed for you. And then he took the bread and he broke it. He did it my body. 
of the New Testament that after that they eat, eat in it. Eat it in the remembrance of me. And so it is. The water had been transformed into its blood. And so when you've been born again, when you've been baptized, you are washed in the blood of the Lord. When you partake of the purification water, it has been transformed into the blood. You are partaking of the blood of the Lord. Amen. I wanted to also understand that the word it also used for you am um, the symbol. The, 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 symbol, the water it also symbolizes in the word. And he shall be like a tree that planted by the river of water. Meaning you are planted where you have been nourished by the word of God. You have been strengthened by the word of God. Amen. Also in Revelation, it's a pure river of water that came out of the throne of God, representing His Word. Hallelujah. So we can see that the purification, we have been cleansed by the Word. Oh, can a young man cleanse his way, but by taking him unto the Word of God. That the Word of God will cleanse you, meaning clean you from your sin, from generation curse, from destruction, from happening. It will change your path. It will uplift you from your dunghill and lift you up high. It will grant you wisdom and it will instruct you. The Word of God will do all of that and even more. Not only the Word will, will sanctify you and cleanse you, but the Word will also bless you. Hallelujah. If you receive the word of God, meaning you're receiving the promise of God, and if the promise of the Lord be, you are healed, then you are healed. If the family, the promise of the Lord say you are blessed, then you are blessed. If you believe it, you will receive it. So I am standing in the word of God right now as an apostle of Jesus Christ, and I'm speaking over to that man there that is pointing on me. Yes, I speak over you that you are blessed exceedingly abundantly more than you can manage you are blessed that you have to be a blessing to to the nature to many hallelujah to god you are blessed that the enemy can't do you nothing men cannot do you no harm because you are blessed and no weapon that form against you shall be even yet i'm talking to that woman too yes that yes you lady yes you lady i'm talking to you you are blessed that no weapon that form against you able to prosper you are blessed that even though they rise up against you, they try to obey you, it will harm. Even demons and principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places that will come at you. The glory of God will shine upon you even more. The power of God will manifest upon you even more. I prophesy to you, sir. I prophesy to you, ma'am. I prophesy to you, girl. I prophesy to you, boy. I prophesy to you, woman of God. I prophesy to you, unsaved. You shall be saved, unsaved. You shall be born again. You shall get married. You shall start your business, you shall increase, and the enemy cannot stop your business. And everything that you put your hand to, it shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Can I prophesy to you who are really taking this word serious and taking this word not for granted, but you're taking it and you see me as the prophet prophesying to you, declaring the word of the Lord, and say, Your sorrow is over, your weeping is over, joy is now. Hello, this is your morning of joy, your night season of disappointment, your night season of condemnation, your night season of being rejected, the night season of being disappointed, your night season of being walked upon and disgraced, and all manner of things that happening to you. You did not get the loan from the bank, the bank do not accept you, or you did not get the 10 year visa, or they're denying your paper, they say that you are not fit to save the country. Whatsoever it is that you're going through, I am standing on the word of the Lord and I'm prophesying to you a uh, Jesus amen say fill fill up the vessel I am telling you just to praise God this is a 
simple honor just to praise God, to give God the glory and to give God the praise and say, the man of God speak, hallelujah, I have heard of signs and wonders. Oh God, is it not the first time I heard that this man pray for people and they get healing, did man prophesy and it come to pass, oh my God, I see, I see this man, yes, you, that man you see speaking to you, yes. Yeah, this one yeah. Yeah, mm, yo. You just speak to people and warn them of danger they did not hear and they disobey and they, they die and all these things. And um, if you don't want to believe in me, I'm believing in in, in myself. I'm believing in the anointing of God that is flowing through me. And I prophesy in the name of Jesus, they cannot stop your current on. Oh, but it may look foolish, but yet I'm prophesying. They will not stop your current on. They will not stop your kitchen. They will not stop your ministry. Your ministry is going to be expanded. Hallelujah to God. You're going to increase more than all you're increasing right now. You're increasing. Your increase is unstoppable. Your increase is unstoppable. Oh God, your kingdom has been established not only in Jamaica, but in the world, in the wide world, in the name of Jesus. And whosoever believe in you, sir, shall be healed. Whosoever believe in you, sir, shall get miracles. Whosoever believe in you, the Lord shall come perform a miracle. Whosoever believe in you, oh, they will receive word of wisdom, word of knowledge out of you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! If they believe, they, will, they shall be blessed in their going in and in their coming out from this time forward, even forevermore. No man. But this is it. So, we are moving on. Then Jesus said unto them, Fill up the water pot, and they fill it up to the brim. Hallelujah. That's the problem is. God said to fill up the water pot, and you put in a little bit in it. Because that's your, where your faith is. Can somebody believe God to the fullness? Believe God to the fullness that not only that He going to give you the piece of land, He going to give you the money to build the house. He going to sometimes you're not even to get you're not get to house and land. Who who believe in God that you going to act on your faith and you going to do the very best. You going to do the very best concerning your faith. Hallelujah! You going to make sure that you do everything that you have to do. To get your healing. You're going to do everything that you have to do to get your miracle. You're going to do everything that you have to do to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Oh God. You're, you're, you're going to do everything that you have to do to get your blessing. Whatsoever it is. Hallelujah. You're going to walk in obedience. You're going to pray if you have to pray. You're going to worship if you have to worship. You're going to go down on your knee if you have to go down on your knee. Hallelujah. You know, the Spirit of the Lord has been talking to me about protocol. Because there were certain things that we do not receive because we do not work with the protocol. Meaning the order and the rule that has been set. And we tend to pray, but we do not go down on our knees. And so that we are robbing ourselves. Not that God cannot Hear our prayer standing on our, on our, our two foot. The Lord of your prayer. But when you go down on your knee, it's the pattern. It's to get setting yourself in the shape of bringing your body also in obedient to prayer. God, when people pray, they go down on their knee, they clasp their hand to show at a sign that you are, your body, spirit, and soul is now in according. And that's the reason why we are not getting so much. Because guess what? We, two or three, have, have to come to agreement, touching anything concerning his name. Okay? And so it is that your mind is outside, but your body kneel down. Uh, so it is that you are praying in your mind, but your body tired to so your fall asleep. You have to get your spirit, body, and soul. And if you have to build a knee pad where you, you, you pray, build one that you go down on your knee and pray. Go down on your knee and pray. I begin at the God, thank you for your word. I come out of my bed. I have, I, I have my, my knee pad right at my bedside. Yeah, I, will, I will show you later. Amen. And I go and I, and I kneel. And I begin to kneel and pray before I enter into my bed. Even when I'm in my bed, I begin still praying. But I make sure I've been obedient to what the Lord said. Amen. And if I pray and I felt that I need to go down low, 
I am I am going down on the floor and I'm touching up with my hand. Hallelujah. Like unto Anna and like unto David, go down on his face, giving God, let his spirit, body, and, and soul go into total submission to the will of God. Social humbling before the throne of God to receive my deliverance. Amen. Oh, what's going on here? Amen. So, so it is. I put my body on a submission so that I can able to pray and receive what God have for me. Hallelujah. Sometimes we 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 are a person like this. We just believe that we must get we we must we must we must just get everything. So we don't not do anything. And sometimes God wanted to do something. God wanted to bless Abraham. And so it is. He tell Abraham, take your son Isaac and make him, offer him up as a sacrifice to me. God did not want Isaac to die. He's the one who gave Isaac to, to, to Abraham. He was the promised son. Hallelujah. That through him he will be the next father of the nation of Israel. The second father of the nation of Israel. And from Isaac, then he will get Jacob. And Jacob will get 12 sons that you have the 12 tribes of Israel. And so it is. God requested him to make, a, make him a sacrifice. And Abraham did not withheld his hands from the Lord. Abraham was obedient to God. And so Abraham offered Isaac to the Lord. And as he abode to, to cut it short, a sacrifice done, you have to cut it, you have to kill him. The angel of the Lord came and said, Lay not thy hand upon the Lord. For there is a realm that I have provided for myself. And when Abraham looked, he provide a miracle. A ram was tied up. He woke up a ram for Abraham to get. Hallelujah. And so it is. If you are willing to bring your spirit, body, and soul. Oh, what it is. What it was in his body. It was his, his son. Well, it, it was his son. It was his flesh. It was his flesh. It was his body. He was the... the, the the carry on of, of Abraham. He was the blood of Abraham. It was his body. It was his son. Hallelujah. And so it is. The Lord provide. I'm telling you, if you are willing to do something for God, if you're willing to go down on your knee, if you're willing to make an offer for God, Amen. He will provide a rum in the butch. He will provide a way for you. If you are willing to do whatsoever you're doing, He will make the provision for Himself. He will make the provision. And so it is. They were willing to take the water for purification. And so it is. They junk the water for purification was changed in the white. And so their heart was purified. Because so much of us, we bend our outer body. We dress up our outer body. We wear the longest rope and, and, and we cover our head and we do everything that we have to do to show the world that we are a Christian. But yet our heart is in malice. Our heart is in strife. We pretend and we chump about it if we, we are worshipping and believing God for miracles and healing and deliverance and breakthrough, but yet in our heart we doubt in our heart. We doubt what God's gonna do and what God is doing. And the Bible says, Don't even think you're gonna get anything. James chapter one and part five, if the one need of wisdom, let him ask. Hallelujah. To God who give it freely and don't hold back. He don't hold back. But let, but, there's a conjunction here, but let that man act in faith. Not in wavering. 
like under the sea that go in and out and the wind go and it make even night or whatsoever no let him ask with faith let him ask with confidence let him ask without doubting let him ask knowing that god is able to do miracles what is miracle things that it not really happen like that things that it impossible it's not supposed to happen if it's something that really just happened it's not a miracle a miracle it a supernatural thing it don't happen like that it don't work that way this is what we need right now tonight we need something that you know it have to be a miracle it have to be god you know there is no way a person can just touch you and all the pain leave your body you don't you know that you just give somebody amen some fools and somebody from out of nowhere i am sending you some money and over fifty thousand dollars sent to you that you can able to come on it's a miracle that is a miracle and one of the things that will get god so upset and get god so grieved is when god work for 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 us to give him the glory and and the praise when god work for us to appreciate what he's doing we are at if god haven't do nothing oh whatsoever he done oh just simple matter i could have get it done you know you couldn't get it done you know you couldn't fix that problem you know you couldn't able to overcome that warfare that you have been through you know that what whatsoever happened it have to be god if it not god it would not happen this would not come to pass if it not god and so you you take the glory for yourself and you sleep on it and you have not testified of the goodness of the lord you have not tell anybody that God have just opened a supernatural door that you have never expected. When the Lord have cleansed, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but ten lepers. And on his way, that man realized that he was healed, he was cleansed, and there were nine more with him. And only him alone who have an art of appreciation who is so thankful of God and what God have done hallelujah return and glorify God and testify and say thank you hallelujah we are healed and that we are denied why only you come can I find someone who is so grateful and oh God have cleansed you from your leprosy. Oh God have turned your your hell into the glory of God. Turn your destruction. Uh, uh your uh, let us say turn your mess into a message. Turn your your mess into a testimony. Turn your defeat into the glory of God, the manifestation of God working a miracle in your life. When you think it's over, when you think it's done, God work in a mysterious way and turn your water into wine. Hallelujah. And make your plenty, make your fuel become plenty. Mm. Mm. What a mighty God we serve. I don't know about you, but I am receiving this miracle right now. This miracle that is given out through the word of the Lord, the miracle of turning your broke pocket into a millionaire, turning the gnome, the gnome body you, the ugly you into the beauty of God. I wanted the church to understand that God can take 10 years off of your life, meaning make you younger. You can be, you can be 60 and look like 50. You can be 50 and look like 40. You can be 40 and look like 30. You can be 30 and look like 20. God can take 10 years. God can beautify you with his glory, but you have to believe it. God can take every sickness out of your body and show them out through your, 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 your feces. Show all the toxins, show all the, all the germs, all the, all the infection that's in your body. The Lord can show it out. 
Hallelujah. The Lord can destroy everything that the enemy means for evil. Hallelujah. Thank you, son. The Lord can can change all of that. My big son is here. Uh, give me a piece of so come give me a water. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. So, so it is. I am declaring the Lord will beautify you. And most of most of what you 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 what causing you to look so so weird and and all. Sorry to say that. I'm not to just say that for you to understand what I'm saying. Again, it's because too much stress, too much problem, too much chaos, too much disappointment, too much disrespect, too much chaos is happening. You, you're going to hell. So it suck every youth out of you. It suck every virtue out of your body. You sick too much. You have too much cold, too much infection in, in the lungs. Infection in, in the, the kidney. Hallelujah. Too much toxins in the body. Too much stress. Release poison in your body. Can I help you somebody? And God wants to fix that problem. So you don't have to stress over it. So you're going to refine. He's going to take up years over you. You're there with one man for 20 years and he might give you health. God wants to change a man or remove him out of your life. You tell it about a woman that you love so much when you tell your heart and no care what you do. The woman now appreciate you and now cook for you or whatsoever. God will remove that devil out of your life, you know. And give you a woman as someone that will love you and cares for you and take care of you and make you happy. You need to be happy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Am I getting too deep here? How am I just speaking the truth? Cause it what it will. Yeah. I want to be happy. I want to want. I want the glory of God. Anything that it does stress to me, I get rid of it. Quick as ever. Because I want the glory of God to be in me. I want to able to praise God. I want to able to glorify God. I want. I, I have to talk about the thing that God done for me because I want Him to do more. Because God inhabit the praise of His people. God is looking for you to give Him thanks and praise. God is looking for you to give him thanks and praise. God is looking for you to, to glorify him. So he going to bless you so that you can glorify him. And if you don't glorify him, then why am I blessing you? I'm blessing you for you to bless me back with your praise. I want to bless you because I want you to show somebody that I am still alive. And, and if they believe too, they will receive as well. And so it is you testifying, get somebody to believe in God for their breakthrough. And so they have been blessed too. And they know they're going to testify to one of them, but they can testify. And so the kingdom of God is going to increase. And then another soul will be saved. And then another somebody, there are most of my members that is in the sacred or spiritual church of Jesus Christ, they were first a patient. They first got healed first. They were first sick and they come and they got their healing and their deliverance and they become a part of the church. Some come apart and spend one ten years and then after a while they forget that they were sick and they and left the church. And forget that they were sick and they come to church and, and the man of God prophesied for them or heal them or give them minutes to, to drink and, and and so on. Some people can't get pregnant, give them medicine and they to get children and all these things. They forget about the good of the Lord. They forget about it. Hallelujah to God. They forget about the prophecies that would prophesy over them and all these things. And the Bible says that there are some who fall on good side and they bring forth food in great number. Some in 50, some in 100, and some in, in, in 1,000. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bring forth fruit because you are fallen on good side. But some would fall by the wayside. And the bird of the ear come and pick them up that meaning. The devil come and steal their testimony. The step will come and take for everything that they used to go through and get their deliverance for that they can remember and give God the glory for what the Lord will do. The devil come and take everything that on them. And not until when they go through the same thing again, they remember where they will get healing and where they will get deliverance. So they try to find back that place that they get deliverance and the healing. And they become to use God. And God is not pleased with you for that. Hallelujah to God. You need to praise God. The more if God work for you, um, I often hear people say, you know, when they're about to die, they God, if you give me one more chance, I will serve you. And the Lord gave them one more son. And they come around and they sick body become healed and, 
and they escape death and destruction and and all of that and then now they start to serve God a week or two a month a year and they forget their covenant that they have made with God and they turn back they come back to beg the devil pardon again and, and they never call upon the devil when they they were about to meet in the accident when they see the life before him and they are about to crouch and they cry out Jesus save me save me Jesus and Jesus save them they never said Satan save me hallelujah and none of you I don't think none of you will say Satan save me they have said Jesus save me save me at the cross and so it is Amen. So do what the Lord said to do. If they pull the pot up, pull the pot up. And we see what happened. And they bring it to our. Right, I'm going to talk first 10. Because the time is passing. And they said unto him, Every man at the beginning, both said good wine. But did men, when well drunk, then the worst. Okay? No. Hear what the word of the Lord is saying. They usually throw the best wine at the beginning, but now they are tasting a better wine than that was there before. Hallelujah. God has a better life to give you. Anything that God work on miracle on, it comes better than it was before. I'm going to prove to you. Let me get into 2 uh, Kings 9 and verse 16. I'm going to go into it. I hope... I hope my, my international overseas is there. International coordinator, rather. Overseas is there. Yabo Koshanda. What you say? The wine was better than it was before. Your life kind of be better than when you were on here. Right now. Every day with Jesus, it's not worse. Huh? Every day with Jesus. Each time that you receive a word, each time that God speak to you, I don't care what that thing may not be you are It have to go in the name of Jesus. I said them over could not kill you then. Why them over to kill you now? Your God is better than then. Your God is greater than each time that God touch your sick body and heal you, you're gonna be more better than when you were before you were sick Heko shando robo ko chata ya baba reko si tele bianda baba in the name of Jesus you can look more better than what you were going through the fire can purify you the fire can burn off those things that have you on the bungee the rope that they tie you on to show you in the fire like Jacob Mitch up on the pentacle, it shall burn off you. Third bunches shall remove those things that easily beset you that were holding you down gonna be removed because the Holy Ghost gonna be there with you. Jesus is there with you. Receive it right now. Hallelujah. If that foot sick, God gonna heal it and make it, you're gonna feel, feel better than it ever been. In the name of Jesus. So if I'm in arthritis, it's going. If I'm in cancer, it's going. You're going to be better than you were before. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. And some of you say, okay, I want a, a pastor to prophesy. I'm prophesying to you right now. You're going to feel better in, in your stomach than you have ever been before. God is doing a transformation right now. God is doing a healing. And I'm like, so just to listen. You know, the Spirit of the Lord asked me to, to give to the, to the people um, the change of the turmeric and the, um, the China time. The change of the turmeric and the China I'm giving it today, tonight. The change of the turmeric and the China time. And do a nine days drinking every day. Hallelujah. And see what happened. Don't tell me that God can do it because let, let's go to the river. And this, this is um, Naaman. Naaman who have a sickness of leprosy at that day those times leprosy couldn't cure like under AIDS AIDS 
then check your ears can lift your body or syphilis can come out of your body and certain sickness can come out of your body receive it right now in the name of jesus if you believe in miracle if you believe in miracle and I, I never just say healing at the miracle meaning that you can apply you're going to be healed but show miracle miracle is something that never happened before something that's not supposed to happen is it not supposed to be to act like that these things have not been i am speaking something that have not been you going to be totally 100 percent heal 100 percent from diabetes the doctor going to wonder what you have drink what you have done to be healed but no you have do what the spirit what the prophet said the more peace of god got more upset and because you have been obedient and you have done what the spirit of the lord said he work in your favor he do a miracle no i know the butch cannot what i'm giving you is not to heal ears and to heal cancer and to heal all of these things you have never healed all things before but that is the reason why it's, it's a miracle. We are talking about miracle now. We are talking about things that have never happened before. Apart from a miracle. Amen. A miracle going to happen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive that it was a miracle. Because it was the water for purification that to wash people to purify them. It was the water that changed into wine and was the best wine. After the miracle have took place, your finance gonna be up never before. You're gonna you gonna do things that used to struggle you then, but it won't struggle you now. Hallelujah. Maybe you a problem with reading because you know, open your, your school book for a week and you know, some someone not going like open it, but you don't know what to open it, not true. Because if you not believe in open boy, something wrong with you. Because guess what? The Bible talk about it. The Bible talk about it. Talk about witchcraft, talk about spiritual wickedness, and all these things. The Bible talk about principalities and power. The Bible talk about the witchcraft and, and the sorcery and everything. So if 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 you don't believe in it, then no read the Bible. Because the Bible talk about it. Alright? So we must understand that there are spiritual wickedness in high places and all of these things. And so it is you need the protection of the Holy Ghost to cleanse you because some of your sickness have not it's not a natural sickness. And even if it's a natural sickness, listen, you can be receive you can receive healing through miracle. The anointing of miracle, you can receive healing. So whether it's spiritual wickedness or it what? Because most of the sickness today is spiritual wickedness. Some of the diabetes that is in your blood is coming from generation. That means it's a generation curse, it's not a blessing. If anything that is come to destroy you, it's not a blessing, it's a curse. Hallelujah. And so it is that you need to destroy the curse to get your deliverance. You need to destroy the curse. So we go against right now diabetic, the spirit that is moving from one generation to another generation, somebody for you have cancer and so on. So you need to start to bind. You don't wait until the cancer start to show, manifest himself. Because it's there somewhere in the blood. And you don't wait until it starts to manifest itself. itself. You need to destroy cancer in the name of Jesus. And now that we are speaking of healing and miracles, you need to tap in in your faith so that you have a good lungs, so that you have a good kidney, so that all those stones that in it that will give you um, kidney stone and, and, and stoppage of water and, and, and all manner of sickness, emerge, what? All arm and things, it go. Don't go that will make your belly big. That you have to go through major operation that will stop you from getting another child and all these things that don't enter on demons that will hold you down, that will have you in, in the bed of affliction, destroy your mouth, make all things come up on your body and all this. You need to rise up by faith and begin to believe God for your healing and deliverance. Else, if you don't believe, you shall be done. He said, Believe not, you have already been done, but if you believe, you shall be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave it only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him, Jesus, should not perish, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Meaning that you shall live happy. You shall be beautiful. You shall be nice. You shall live young and fresh and nice. The glory of God is going to be on you. 
And that's what we need and not. We need the glory of God that the enemy, we don't want to look like a devil. We don't look like we look like a poor thing. We don't like to look like we are macho. Your skin, your, your bone gonna look like no, you want the glory of God to shine upon you. You want the presence of the Lord to be upon you. You want the joy of the Lord to be on your face. You want to talk about the goodness of the Lord and what He has done for me. How oh, He has turned your life around. Oh, you are going to hell and poor the house, as we all time people say, hell and poor the house. And praise be to God, He come true even in the dark and the worst situation, even when it seems impossible, He make a miracle for me. That's what we want to do. We don't want to fight against people. We don't want to fight against people. We have no time for no hypocrite with the palm. I find time to come persecute you and I come interfere with the praise and the worship. No better than me. Me not in them something there. Me in a getting me healed, getting me blessed, getting my children blessed, getting my ministry blessed, getting my church to elevate to another level, getting soul for the kingdom of God, getting some more people healed, getting some more people blessed, getting some more people being delivered and doing it over and 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 praise him over and over and if I have to go to church whole week, I rather go to church whole week more than sit down and stress over what people say about me and what people want and what I make anybody open any door for any devil coming on my life, for going to charm my, 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 my family, for going to charm my church, for going to charm my relationship with God, I will not allow that to happen. The blood of Jesus, I bind and destroy every plan of the enemy right now that is coming at your life to bring you through hell. I will broke them in any name of Jesus for so your local life over you, make your stress can ease up as a sweet block stomach because you're not eating, because you're stressing. I bind that in the name of Jesus. I bend, I come up again, um, and chingle, I come up again. Um, best sore that you lie down in the bed and can't move so you end up a best sore and all these things rise up in the name of Jesus rise up out of the bed walk, talk, sing, worship give God the glory give God the praise to God I am receiving a miracle in the name of Jesus I am receiving a miracle in my life I'm going to let hallelujah the water better than it was before hallelujah the the wine's better rather than before. All right, watch this now. So, so it is now because I'm, I'm coming home. I know some of you getting weary already, and I do not want to get you weary. Amen. So it is in Second King chapter five, four, nine, and sixteen. And Nathan came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elijah. So took a dead man of leprosy. Go and read it for yourself. Second King chapter five. You can read from first one. Go, come up. Just read all of it. And you need a word. Amen. And so it is. I'm just reading from verse 5 and uh, 9. Okay. And first then, And Elijah sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and watch in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. He said, so Go and watch in the Jordan seven times. Amen. I am going to the Rolling River um, on Wednesday. Amen. I, 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 I was planning just to take my armor bearer with me and just go to the Rolling River. But then the Spirit of the Lord gave me another vision. Amen. And so I said, you know what? I have to get to it. Because it's not only my armor bearer, them need to be blessed or cleansed or purified or whatever. Other people need it too. I understand? So I'm going to leave it open. Whosoever will come. Me not fight nobody. Me not compel nobody who won't come. Come. Hallelujah. That we go down in the, in, in the, in the water. This is not a baptism we're going to do. It's a, it a washing. Okay. Amen. God the Lord have sent us there. And so it is. I am going. And I've never even called my spiritual son, Apostle God, and tell him. And he will be there. He got it. His church member get it that he need to go there as well. And so it is. It's another confirmation. Who want to come for healing, come for healing. Who want to come for deliverance, come for deliverance. Who want to come for a new start, come for a new start. And so it is. They went to, to the, to the, um, no. But Naaman was wrapped and went away and said, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord and strike his hands over my place and recover the leper. That's what he said. Okay, they just, I think he just had to come out there out and just get Jesus be healed. God, listen, you have to do what I'm back to my thing. Do it as God say. So, any old God said to you to do it, a possible way faster that I'm going to tell you to do it. 
to just oh you're not going to see me work the way you want me to work and and oh you want me to work i don't do it and a lot of even the other day somebody had talked to me and said oh why did you go on a night that young man and so on it's because the lord there might not say it and the person determined that was a protocol yes it was a protocol for you but it was protocol biblically because david when um when david was about to be anointed samuel did not tell saul Sam, samuel go and anoint him and i know they would come to be bad but guess what god i wanted what to prevent that but obedient it better than sacrifice i want you crucify me if you know i be my friend again it'll be my friend and say anything where you want to support me more than just to be a god god if you don't understand if you are going against what i do if you if the holy ghost in you certify it and then you still go against it that means that the holy ghost never said it because if the holy ghost certify it to you and god used somebody to do it you would have gone with it you wouldn't go against it you would have go with it and and you you would have you would have pretend like you're with it you would have tell me to listen to me i'm not with it then i would have said i'm i'm apologize about that but this is how i get it to done you work different from me Jesus spit on the ground and make clay over the blind man's eye. Hallelujah. He did not say, your, your, your eyes is now open. He did not say that. But yet Peter go and the silver and gold have I known, just the half give idea in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up and walk. Peter said, rise up and walk. But he did not say. He go to Jared's house and he said, Jared, he run them out of the house um, and let Uncle Jared and, and, his, and his wife and Peter uh, and, and John and uh, um, Peter, James, and John, and there, and and one or the other people, then you need to understand that is how God worked at that time. He wait until Lazarus buried for four days. That means he should have been stink already. But yet he go to his grave for the glory of God, for the manifestation of the Lord. He go for his grave and he said, Lazarus, come forth after. Why did he not? He did hear that Lazarus was, was sick. But yet he wait for him to die and to raise him up to show the glory of God. So God do not work at times the way you want him to work. But he work according to the spirit of God. Because Jesus say, I don't do nothing and let my father tell me how to do it and how to do it. I don't go ahead and know what I feel like to do. I have been led by the Spirit of God. And if you are Holy Ghost filled, and I'm Holy Ghost filled, you're supposed to feel me. If I'm Jesus and you are John, <coughs> sorry, you must leave. And if you are Jesus and me are John, we must leave. We must be happy for you. We must be joy, knowing you're doing the work of God. There have to be a certificate. Even when John refused to baptize Jesus, Jesus said, suffer it to be so now. Hallelujah. God, I have to fulfill. No, I understand that I should be, you should be baptized by me, God. I'm the Messiah. But to fulfill righteousness, this is the way it have to go. You have to do it like this. And so it is, John will have to humble and baptize Jesus Christ. So this is the protocol of the Lord. God move where all he want to move the wind lifted where it lifted you know not where the sound of the wind come from so it is with the holy spirit that all the holy ghost you don't know when and all he gonna work and what he gonna do but you just trust the anointing of god and your life hallelujah can i have an amen to somebody can i have an amen i want to know that you're there amen you just trust god and just oh god gonna work and god gonna work in some of you in a way that it's gonna be amazing you don't have to go it's not everybody have to go to the river child and go deep no, hallelujah to God. Because perhaps the Lord will say, fill the bath with water. Hallelujah. Show three cracks inside of the water. Make it stay for a while. Show some Florida water in there. And go in there and lie down. And you might, you never even know what happened. God can do a supernatural work there. God can remove something from your system. Hallelujah. Maybe the Spirit of the Lord to show some salt in the, in the water. Repeat in the 23rd Psalm that David and throw some salt in the water. Find a scripture. Hallelujah. When the water was poison and the man of God threw some salt in the water and the whole water gets healed. Come on now. When death was in the pot, 
Hallelujah. And the man of God picked one bush. Hallelujah. And trained at the pot. And the dead was destroyed that was in the pot. When the water was bitter. And more the pickle a branch. And trained the water. And the water became sweet. Hallelujah to God. You don't know how the spirit going to move. But you have to trust the anointing of God. And you have to know who is anointed. So that you do not allow anybody to bring you. Hallelujah. Under the spirit of satanic. You understand? You have to know that it's the Holy Ghost. And when you can confirm the Holy Ghost, and that is it, that those who are moving the Holy Ghost, let me tell you something with Fimichon. church. Me don't want to come, 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 come perform anything. Me don't want no message with God to give. If you feel like you come bless the man of God, just come and do something, a basket, or whatsoever, and just bring and bless the man. Oh, that your own gratitude that you are. Do not come to me, say that the Spirit give you this, and, and what the weapon you know, mm -mm, don't do that do not do that and i do not want to embarrass you so i i, I advise you do not do that if you feel like to do something and you feel like to visit me come and say i just want to visit your choose and i service her. i just want to i don't love the way you're preaching i don't want to be in a service i've been watching the program i don't want to be going to the holy ghost send me. you know africans do all of these things because we want to be led by the spirit of god and we want to feel you. And if you deliver a message, we want to know that yes, confirm the message is right. The message is according to the word of God. The message to the Holy Spirit is with it. It's the Spirit of God is moving. And so it is so we move. We allow the Spirit to have its way. Right. So this is all it is. So this now Nathan would upset and say, Ain't there other river that I can dip in? Why I have to go to Jordan? Jordan River too dirty. And I have a leprosy on my skin. If I go into that dirty water, that dirty water can destroy my skin even worse. But his servant came near and speak unto him, and verse 13, and said, My father, if the prophet have bid thee to do great things, who did thou not have done it? How much Rather then, when he said to thee, watch and be clean. Hear what I'm saying. You have to do what the Spirit of the Lord tells you to do. This is my thing. Do it as God tells you to do. Do not think five times when the Spirit of the Lord says seven times. Do not go to sweet river when the Holy Spirit says rolling river. If a spirit of rolling river, go to rolling river. If a spirit of the pool, you have a pool in the church where full of it the water and use the pool. Wherever the spirit let it to go, if the spirit go to the mountain, go to the mountain. If the spirit go to the sea, go to the sea. The spirit of wild the bush, wild the bush. The spirit that bless the water and keep the people bless the water. The spirit that use the alpha, use the alpha. If the spirit that use the funky send them more, use the funky send them more. Whatsoever the spirit of the Lord tell you to do, rep, do it. And the manifestation, miracle will come out of it. Breakthrough will come out of it. And I'm coming home now. I'm really coming home. Now. I'm coming home. Hallelujah. And then he went down and he dipped himself seven times in Jordan. According to the saying of the man of God, it was done according to the prophecy. It was done according to the word that was given unto him. And it's fresh again like unto a, a fresh, the flesh of a child. And he was cleansed. His flesh come back. That means God take up ears of it like he looked fresh. He looked new again. Receive this right now. The glory of God is going to come on you. And you're going to look younger. You're going to feel younger. Things that you're going to move and going to do, you're going to be able to do it. You're going to show the bands of never before. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You're going to glory God as never before. I charge you right now in the name of Jesus. That some of you may be, if you begin just praise God a little bit more, you're gonna gain strength. Hallelujah! You're gonna gain strength. God gonna renew you. Great things are about to happen in your behalf. Hallelujah! If you begin to praise God, if you begin to appreciate what God have already done for you, if you be like the one of the ten leper, the only one that come back and give God the praise and give God. I, I remember when Jesus of 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 tell the man to take up his bed and walk. 
they come at him and he said, Listen, why are you doing in that the man that healed me tell me to take up the bed and walk? Hallelujah. And when he make the blind, the, the man that was blind from, from his youth, he was blind from his youth, not not blind, uh, he was blind from his youth. There were two blind men that had been healed in the Bible. One that was 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 sitting down, who never blind from his youth. And he put the clay of his eye and they dip in, watch in the water, and he see. And one that he have, he have healed. That makes the blind see. Cripple. No, he, one was crippled from he was born. When he was born, he was crippled. Hallelujah to God. And he, he let him walk. Hallelujah. When he was crippled, he was blind. Crippled and blind. Hallelujah to God. And the Lord healed him. That was a miracle that he had done. And so we see where he do a miracle when he 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 said his endurance. Hallelujah. Say your servant had been ill. And the same hour his servant ill. And he find him back. Swan go find him back. And show him appreciate. Let me tell you something. God is saying right now, all I need you to do is whenever you receive the breakthrough, come back and, and, and testify here. Come back, send a message. My number is one eight seven six four three seven seven nine three three. Send a voice note. The WhatsApp member you may call and make not get you. But send a voice note to the number and testify how you're being healed. And see oh God start to work more and more and more and more. And the next thing that I'm saying to some of you keep on looking out for an individual breakthrough. Hallelujah. Stop looking for individual virtues. There is a lot of prophecy. I just pray you shall be younger. That means God about to strengthen your body where you are where you are sick, and God going to heal it and refreshing you. Your look, your skin going to be refreshing. Your your body going to be more healthier. Hallelujah! And those who can make it to Holy before with me, come, come to Holy before with me. God. It's going to be a blessing. It's going to be a blessing. Amen. So God bless you. God keep you. Thanks everyone for shining and being patient with me. Um, I'm here nearly. I'm here from 8 o'clock. And it's now 14 after 11. Um, so we, I'm here in um, two hours. Two hours. I am here. So the time for me to go. It's supposed to be a revival hour. But never do a revival hour yet. I keep on doing revival two hour. Maybe maybe say revival two hour. I talk about revival hour. Amen. But anyway, revival hour is now coming to a close. God in the name of Jesus, let your people believe you. Let your people trust you. Prick the heart of your people. Let transformation come. Beautify us, Lord. Yet the oil from off the altar right now and anointed from the corner of our head to the sole of our feet. Let the scale from off our eyes be chopped off. Let the thing that is easily be set up, that is arming us, that is destroying our health, the toxins in the, in, in the land and the, in the air and in the and in the, on our food and all the things that is destroying our body. God in sickness, God, we believe in the miracle power. Right now, you are now working a work in us. You are now working on our, our liver, our lungs, our kidney, Lord God, our inner, inner part of our body. You are working on our skin, our vine, our mouth, Lord God, our bone right now. Jesus, even the very teeth Hallelujah. In our mouth, you are strengthening. You are strengthening our eye, our vision. Lord, in the name of Jesus, whatsoever you are doing right now, you are doing it well. Not only that, you are strengthening us physically and, and spiritually but you're also strengthening us financially you're opening doors right now somebody received it the lord is opening doors new doors new opportunity new work new vision new hope right now in the name of jesus the power of the lord is upon us and god gonna do exceedingly abundantly more than i or you can ever ask or even think of receive it in the name of jesus receive the prophecy new wine hallelujah new skin Hallelujah. New wine and the best wine, Father. The best wine and 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 your skin will be like a babe. Hallelujah. God gonna remove all of the air and bring it back to where your skin is beautiful and clean in the name of Jesus. I, I remember that man who was on the farm working and his skin messed up his hand and all that arm and things grow on his hand. And he came to me. And praise God, when he come back to me. 
and show me himself. I never recognize him. His face and all. So, so many things like an like a alligator skin. It, it, it was terrible, you know. And he said that he asked back for the farm working. And if they say to him that they must, he must send, they must send him after send the picture to them. Else them can, you know. And he sent the picture. They couldn't believe that God of healed. Because he have to do so many tests. And they couldn't find a complaint. And they were trying to make him send him. He said, no, I'm going back to Jamaica. This is not hard. Going back to Jamaica. Hallelujah to God. And that man have been ill when I see the man. Um, I was so amazed of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. And also another lady with whole skin was like a scale. Like a fish scale. And praise God, when she come back to me, I couldn't even believe one bath. One bath that lady get. And he got healing and delivered. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. That some of you, amen, who are, are home overseas and cannot go to the river with us on Ash Wednesday, that you're going to be Ash Wednesday. You're going to fill your bath up. Hallelujah. You're going to, you're going to do your garlic's water, whether you want to boil it with the frankincense and more. And you're going to throw the salt in, in, in the water. Hallelujah. It's better for you sea salt and throw in the water. And you're going to go in it. You're going to read your 22 Psalms or whatever Psalms the Spirit of the Lord give you. And you're going to dip in it. And you're going to soak your body in it. And we're going to believe what your face, what your head. Watch yourself with it. And we're going to believe that you're going to be cleansed. You're going to be purified. But you must do it on Ash Wednesday. That is Wednesday coming. Do it on Ash Wednesday. Those who are joining with me to Walling River, come with your faith and believe in God. That we're going to be watched, we're going to be purified, we're going to be healed, we're going to be delivered. Some going to watch after the sadness over them. Jamaica is a sadness. We love that going apart. We do the bad omen, the bad energy. And you don't think that it's holding you back and make you can't prosper. It's going to remove from you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. This is a word that has been given. Take it or leave it. God bless you. Have to go now. In Jesus' name. All right, everybody. Love you. Okay, this is no one, two, three.